assalamu alaikum students i am dr neelam and today we will be discussing data management till date we have discussed different types of data you learned about primary and secondary data and how to collect the data and uh, also you are familiar with the questionnaire development so today we will be discussing that uh, what is data management and why it is important so you see if the data is wrong then obviously the interpretation is going to be wrong and there will be errors which lead to misguided public health uh, interpretations and this is again going to be very unethical and it can lead to the wrong outcomes and all the policies and programs which are based on this data will obviously um, have a wrong results and uh, this is going to impact the health of the people at large so the learning objectives of the sessions are by the end of the session students should be able to define data management and its importance describe different steps of data management and list down the benefits of the data management so what is data management so data management is actually the compilation of the data and uh, it helps you to find your data in an easier manner you can easily understand your data and uh, there are very less chances that your data is lost and most likely it is uh, reusable because every project or any study has a timeline so uh, during that time the data which is collected that is saved with you and you can even use this data years later for some other purpose in this slide we are going to discuss the management of data so data management is a broader umbrella term and it includes data management planning documenting your data organizing your data improving analysis procedures security and uh, securing the sensitive data properly similarly how to back up the um, data during a project and taking care of your data after a project and how to share the data effectively and finding data for reuse in new project why is research data management important you all are going to be involved in different research project projects and uh, at some point in time you are going to be uh, doing some research so the data which you will gather is going to be very valuable for your organizations and uh, for that proper data management is very important as it ensures that your information stays secure and never ends a strong data management system usually protects your information from theft and attacks and uh, it ensures that your data is backed up and you can retrie retrieve it anytime you want to in case something happens to the original copies besides there are various funding agencies and they have different requirements so it helps in uh, in the uh, compliance with the requirements of the funding companies and uh, helps in taking the accurate decisions this is the data life cycle in this slide you can see that uh, this is an ongoing process and uh, it has a longer lifespan than any research project every project has a specific timeline and when you collect the data you use that data in that project and after that that data is kept safe but the importance of data management is this that when you keep your data safe you can reuse your data for some other project or for some secondary analysis and that is going to be a uh, very time saving and uh, also uh, it is going to be very cost effective so from creating or collecting data then the data is processed 
and uh, there then after processing of the data which involves cleaning and office editing and our uh, different um, um, steps which I have already discussed in the previous data collection lecture and after that analysis of the data takes place from which some meaningful information is gathered and then how to preserve the data and who should be given the access to the data and then reusing of the data so this is a cycle and the life cycle of data is always longer than the project some of the benefits of the data management is that it makes your research easier so it is efficient and uh, the data is easily understandable you know you have collected the data you have cleaned the data you know your data so it becomes very easy for you to uh, understand your data and uh, since data provides a very valuable information so keeping it in the safety is one of the priority then quality better research data it helps in uh, improving the quality of the research data and progress assessment is also um, done through data management as uh, through different uh, research progresses you can identify the gaps and in future whenever you again uh, conduct some other research so you know that what were the gaps in the previous study and uh, how can you improve your data management it also clarifies and facilitates the compliance with ethics ethical um, codes and how to protect the data according to the laws and what are the requirements of uh, different journals for publication of this valuable information you have given and the funder policies and it also helps in reusing the data so in this slide we are going to discuss different data management processes it is very important to know about different processes uh, right from the beginning because uh, data management is something which goes side by side when the study starts. It is not something that you are going to do at the end of the project or your research. So uh, the first and the most important thing is that what data standards you are going to follow, what software you are going to use, and uh, how you are going to do the formatting of your data. So how you are going to translate your data or transcribe your data. Transcribing is basically done in the qualitative researches. And then taking care of the anonymizing, it means that uh, whether you take care of the confidentiality of your participants or not. And um, how you are going to document your data and uh, what uh, should be the strategies for backing up or storing of your data and how you are going to secure your data who is going to have the access to the data so these are some of the uh, data management processes which is which are very important for you to learn from the very beginning before starting any uh, research you should be very clear about these processes that how you are going to take your uh, project side by side, how you are going to do the data management. And some of the considerations for a good data management is that whenever you are going for any project, any uh, research or anything, there should be planning, proper planning for that. Without plan, you cannot do your work successfully. Similarly, for data management, there should be a proper plan for data management. And it should be designed according to the needs and purpose of the research. You should be very clear about the objectives of the, your research and the planning should be according to that, that what type of data you are going to collect, how you are going to collect, from where you are going to collect, and uh, how you are going to proceed, what will be the strategy for backing up of your data, uh, who is going to have the access to your data, and then uh, 
keeping in mind the ethical issues, the legal issues, and uh, how to keep the um, confidentiality of your participants and how you are going to address these uh, challenges. So these all are some of the very important considerations in any of the data management. Securing the data. There are different strategies to keep your data secure since data is very important and it is very prone to be to theft or people do stole the uh, information and they do publish uh, it with their uh, name. So it is very important that uh, when you are putting all the hard work and when you are doing uh, so much uh, efforts in collecting the data then you should also be familiar with the strategies that how can you keep your data secure and it is always very important that uh, whenever you uh, save your data you should save it on your devices and uh, besides the hard copies you should have some backup for your work be it at your workplace or at your personal PCs and there should uh, be maximum precautions with the personal data. If you are working on some sensitive data, then you should also be very careful that how you are going to transfer that data. Do not email any sensitive information at all. Always keep your data in lock and key and Besides keeping the hard copies, there should be soft copies of your data in case if anything happens to the hard copies, you should always have a backup of your data. And uh, you should always practice the rule of 3 to 1. So what does it mean? It means that you should keep three copies of any important file. There should be the primary copy, there should be a backup number 1 and a backup number 2. And the other step is that the store file should be on two different uh, devices. For example, you can store your uh, data on your cloud, on your drive, or in, on your personal uh, PCs, along with uh, your uh, desktop at your workplace. And uh, the third rule is, which is um, one, it means that at least keep one copy off-site. You should at least have one copy in the hard form. And backups always helps to restore the uh, your efforts and your data. And uh, always try to protect against software, hardware failure, and uh, different disasters. So you should always plan a backup strategy whenever you are thinking about any research and storing of your data. So just like we have discussed that data management is a continuous process that is from questionnaire to analysis, or you can say that from cradle to grave, data management is a continuous process. Whenever you start collecting your data the interviewers collect data and completes the questionnaires this questionnaires are then uh, rechecked in the field and this is called the field editing so the interviewers check the questionnaires and corrects any errors there and then and then return to the participants to verify the data whether um the respondents have given the responses correctly or not whether they were able to understand the questions or not the next step is the office editing as the name shows that it is done in the office so whenever the data is collected the field uh, editing is done and after that the questionnaires are uh, brought to the offices so the supervisor checks the questionnaires and in case of any mistakes or any problems the supervisor re-interview those respondents and corrects it the very next step is the data entry and this is the very important uh, step 
as you have collected all the data you have made the effort but at this point if the data is entered in a wrong manner so your all your hard work is of no use so a data entry clerk enters the data into the computer and different data entry clerks uh, enters the data into the computer on the second time so there is always a second time data entry just to double check whether the data which was entered for the first time was entered correctly or not and then these two files are compared for any typing errors and these errors are then corrected then uh, when we talk about questionnaire to analysis and from data collection to data entry and then there are different um, steps which we follow that say for example you go in the field you collect the data the data is then uh, the editing which is done in the field is the field editing then that data is brought to the office and the editing which is done in the office is the office editing and then data entry is done so for the validation of data entry and for um, to make sure that the data entry is um, free from errors we put different checks in the software which we use for data entry which is usually the SPSS and these data checks uh, helps us in uh, avoiding different errors and then data cleaning is done so either at the time of the data entry or afterwards the data are checked multiple times and the checks ensure that the data is within allowable ranges for example uh, if I enter the uh, sex of a person so if I put a check on it that uh, it is either male or female and then different codes are assigned to it so if the data entry person is entering um, zero or one it means that zero is for male and one is for female but if by some mistake he is entering two so the um, software will not allow that person to move forward or to move to the next uh, question uh, and uh, he won't be able to uh, do further data entry until he has corrected the mistake so checks are very important in this regards checks also ensure that the data are consistent from one question to another for example if a respondent is pregnant then um, the sex must be female and for this we have to keep the checks so any errors which are found at this stage they are corrected and they are then double checked so there are different types of errors which can occur in a data for example copying error one can become seven or zero can become O. similarly coding errors can be there so code schemes developed midway during the data entry actually uh, coding we have a code book we usually develop a code book for different uh, for the questionnaire we develop we have developed and while entering the um, data we use that codes and uh, if there are any errors in that code scheme so it is going to affect our data similarly routine errors it includes the interviewers ask questions in a wrong order which results in a poorly filled questionnaire and that is going to affect the data entry and there can be errors in the data consistency errors the two or more responses are contradictory so it means that uh, if the two or more responses contradict with one another so this is called the consistency error and then range error that the answers lie outside the probable values for example if uh, I keep the age of a person uh, or a child from a zero from zero to 12 uh, years so if I get a 22 or uh, 18 age at um, and the data entry person enters 18 or 22 or something like that so this is not going to be in the childhood so for that I have to keep a check on the range and uh, it will help in preventing the range errors and then there are transposition errors for example instead of 39 the person enters 93 so 
kind of errors are these uh, there and um, how to uh, validate that uh, the double entry of the data has uh, helped us in uh, uh, reducing the errors. So whenever data is entered by two different data entry clerks, we match them at certain number of identified points. We identify different points. We, we label it as N and uh, it depends on the sample size in the data set. And then uh, we calculate the differences in the data entries at those points. And then for that, we calculate a percentage of difference. And then to get the double entered data validation, that percentage is calculated and it tells us about that how much the data is accurate. So this was all about the data management. I hope that uh, the concept is clear. In case if you have any queries, you can contact me on my email and uh, hope we are going to practice this in our, our daily routine when we will be involved in the research. So till then, thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.